This past Tuesday afternoon, I became aware that Minister of Municipal Affairs Tracy Allard had traveled to the United States before Christmas. I immediately contacted the minister and asked her to return to Alberta, which she did immediately, arriving back yesterday morning. I should be clear that while away, Minister Allard continued to work on her important responsibilities. I was on calls and participated in virtual cabinet committee meetings in recent days in which she was an active participant. I've also become aware that a few MLAs, political staff and senior government officials have traveled abroad in recent weeks. In doing so, uh, I'm assured that they have complied with all relevant public health orders and legal requirements. Nevertheless, I recognize that those of us in positions of public trust must maintain a higher standard in our uh, personal conduct than is expected of the folks in the, in the general population, in the general community. And here I take responsibility for not having clearly set out or, or communicated a policy against international travel for senior decision makers in government. I should have done so. To be blunt, I'm not in the habit of tracking or regulating what the people who work for me do on their personal time. I believe that these individuals acted in what they believe to be good faith, have complied with the legal requirements, including the COVID public health orders. But for those of us in leadership, I acknowledge that is not good enough. We should be here at home, plain and simple, if we carry a position of public trust. And that is why I am issuing a clear directive today to cabinet ministers, government MLAs, political staff, and senior executives in the Alberta Public Service not to leave the country for the foreseeable future unless it is absolutely required for government-related business. And I see that as being a very remote possibility in 10 months. Uh, it hasn't, uh, I have not found a requirement to travel abroad for government-related business. I understand that individuals who were abroad have either returned or are in the process of doing so. Again, I take responsibility for not having been absolutely clear about this expectation. And I do not believe that I can sanction people who complied with the law, with the public health orders, uh, and who in fact participated in the kind of safe travel that our government has facilitated. 